Thanks, Rob. I'm here in the studio with two stars from the adventure series, The Adventures of Luana Lee, Leanna Chamish and George Stover. We're very glad to have you here on Smash or Trash TV. Thank you for making time from your busy schedules. Uh, you both have been actors in the area for quite a, a long time, and you've worked with some big uh, filmmakers in the area, and small as well. You make yourselves available for smaller projects. Um, let's start with you, George. Who are some of the uh, uh, more well-known names that you've worked with? I know of uh, John Waters and Don Dohler and Fred Olin Ray mm -hmm. and, and, and a number of others. Who are some others that you've worked with? I've worked with Kevin Summerfield, right? Donald Farmer, Ted Bohas, and some newcomers like uh, Chris LaMartina. Okay, great. Eric Christopher Myers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as well as um, you know veterans like Joe Ripple, right? And of Kevin course, Kevin Kangas and people like that. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, how did how did you get your start in film? Well, when I started in films, there was only one independent filmmaker in Maryland, and that was John Waters. And one day, I saw a newspaper article about him, and it mentioned that he was having trouble finding conservative-looking actors to play roles like parents and teachers because most of his friends were uh, 300 pounds or had uh, purple hair or whatever. So he was really looking for regular looking yeah, people. Yeah, he that, was, because yeah, yeah. he had the people cast, uh, the eccentric uh, right. people. He needed normal normal looking people. Right. Uh, so he had the divines that uh, he Right, needed. he had the yeah. divines. And, the, and I sent him my headshot and resume. And then a few weeks later, his assistant called me about being in female trouble. And that was my first movie. And then. Um, a few years later, uh, Don Dohler started making independent movies. So that and was you my work, start. you worked with Don Dohler a number of times, mm -hmm. and Joe Ripple a, uh, a yeah. couple of times as well. And they've really kind of got a lock on the uh, on the horror right. genre well, in the in the in the region. The horror genre is probably the best one for newcomers to the independent field to tackle because throughout movie history, low budget uh, monster movies have always found the market. Mm -hmm. I mean, because because the monster is the star. Right. The guts, the gore and the guts are the star, they're not, not the actors. Now, staying within the horror genre, Leanna, you have uh, made a name for yourself as a scream queen. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. With uh, uh, pictures like Vampire Sisters and Stakes. And Harvest. And Harvest, and exactly. Dead hunt, and Dead Hunt and so many. <laughs> yes. Now, um, how did you get your start in films? Well, <laughs> I was very fortunate that, as George said, Don Dohler is an independent filmmaker, mm -hmm. was an independent mm -hmm. filmmaker in this area, God rest his soul. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so my second movie that I was in was called Harvesters, and I played George's wife. Oh, oh very nice. <laughs> Lucky <laughs> you, George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Now I'm playing her uh, father in the Luana Lee series. <laughs> uh, she stayed the same age, and I've grown older, apparently. Well, she is a vampire. <laughs> uh -huh. so she is the undead. Yes. She's, she's, she's going to outlive us all. So I was really, really, I made quite a career with Don Dohler and then later Joe Ripple with Time mm -hmm, Warp Films, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I'm very, very grateful for them. And But the way that I got my start was that a friend of mine was making a movie. His name is Kim Moyer, and his movie is called Sensitivity. Mm -hmm. And I had not been acting prior to that. I was working as a video editor at a television station where Kim also worked. Mm -hmm. And I auditioned for Kim's movie, and I did not get the role. Mm -hmm. And I was very disappointed, but I said, Kim, can I help you out on set? I'll do whatever you want. I'll be a PA. I'll take uh, publicity photos, whatever you like. And it came the day for the part that the other woman got that I had auditioned for but didn't get, she didn't show up. Mm. And I remembered the lines from the audition. Wow, that's so amazing. So I jumped right in and I did it, and that was my first movie role. So it was being in the right place at the right time. And also being prepared, too. You weren't just in the right place at the right time, but you were prepared to step in and be able to uh, be able to pick up. So, well, that's, that's a fantastic story. That's great. Now, would you advise uh, people who are interested in film to uh, do things like volunteer, be a PA, do things around the set so they can kind of get involved in the show before make, taking mm -hmm. a stab at being an, an actor or something? Oh, absolutely. You get to see what happens on set, what's expected, and you know, maximizes your chances of being in the right place at the right time. Right, right, exactly. And also you yeah. get to, uh, to network, mm -hmm. which is uh, oh, so I, I've right. found in this particular area key to finding out you know, what's going on in the various groups. Uh, what do they need? Who do they need? Mm -hmm. What are they looking for? Can you help them? Can you find a location, can you play a small role? Absolutely. Yep. Great. People can stay in touch by going to meetings like Women in Film and Video and getting on mailing lists like Brian Dragonux. Now, you've both worked with some movers and shakers in the area and those that have gone on to uh, larger success. 
What has been the most positive experience you've been able to pull from working with these very active independent feature filmmakers in the area? Let's start with you, Leanna. I just, well, I really like seeing people when they're starting out and just watch them grow. It's a thrill mm -hmm. to see people like Chris LaMartina, just an incredible young talent, and emerging people like Eric Myers, I've mm -hmm. been in his films, and then through him I met Ethan Meyer, and I've been in one of his films, and just the, the way it all connects and it snowballs, and, and soon everybody is working, and you get to see the results on the big mm -hmm. screen, it's really a thrill. What about you, George? It's a social outlet for me, bonding mm -hmm. with people and... Um, working together towards a project. It certainly isn't for the money, let me tell right, you that. Right, right, right. <laughs> now, I was just going to say that, you know, that's, that's the way it is for me. You know, I work a lot, and uh, I like to do work that I enjoy. And, you know, spending time with actors and creative types and technical types who are, who are, are trying to, uh, craftsmen, you know, who are trying to make something mm -hmm. and trying to get better with each effort and trying to express something that, you know, it's not, capital A artistic, right? But it's fun and it's mm -hmm. creative and right. it's entertaining. Maryland seems to have a lot of filmmakers. I like to call them tribes, right, <laughs> in the state. Yes. Mm -hmm. In that uh, we've got, uh, uh, you know, group and we've got Lee Dahl's group and we've got a groups mm -hmm. down in Annapolis here with, you know, Ken Arnold and, and um, uh, a number of folks who work with him, Tracy Teague and and uh, David Cross, and then we've got folks in in uh, Baltimore. Asus Vela. Right, exactly, yeah. and Steel Corset Productions, Jeannie. Yeah. Uh, Wayne and so, Shipley. Right, exactly, Wayne Shipley, oh, way yeah. out in, in, Jessup. In, the, in, in Jessup. Yeah. And uh, folks in Ellicott City and out in Frederick making all of these films. Now, um, have you had a chance to work for uh, uh, all of these different uh, kinds of tribes, go out and see what they're doing and who they're working with? I have. I feel very lucky yeah. that I haven't really been pegged as a member of one tribe. Right, I, right. I think I'm very strongly associated in people's minds with time work, but I've worked sure. with the mm -hmm. and Wayne Shipley and Eric Meyer and Eric Thornett, uh, who's right. a super filmmaker as right. well. So. know that name. Do you think there's an opportunity for us as a group of filmmakers within the state to We'll pull together and, and maybe work on something a little larger as a collaborative effort? I definitely see the possibility mm -hmm. of that because I see the way you all interact when you meet together. Let's say we go to a science fiction convention mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and right. you bump into Joe Ripple and, and Sue Spela and everybody's talking that I definitely see it. I think it's just a matter of mm -hmm. coordination, who has what equipment and time and what's mm -hmm. everybody's mm -hmm. schedule. That's probably the, the difficulty is getting everybody's schedule synced up. Now, um, let's talk about uh, the adventures of Luanna Lee. Well, I play mom. Mm -hmm. And I play grandpa. And we're the mother and grandfather of Luanna Lee, who's a girl detective. A girl detective. So oh, yeah. She's kind of a good. Nancy Drew. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I That's love Nancy idea. Drew growing up. Yes. Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys. Mm -hmm. Only our girl detective mm -hmm. also sings. Oh, okay. So she's a performer as well. Mm -hmm. Now, she doesn't burst into song in a movie like, a, like in a musical. Right. But you'll right. hear some of her singing on the soundtrack. And you'll also see music videos as extras in the DVDs. Okay. So we're in the music videos, mm -hmm. too. And she'll usually oh, uh, sing, a, sing a song at the end of the show. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And they're wholesome entertainment. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. I had, a chance, I had a chance to watch no uh, the, the no first two episodes, and I thought they were very, A, well, well done. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Congratulations to both of you. Very nice performances, nicely produced, nicely shot, nicely edited. You know, it was uh, uh, good, wholesome entertainment in, in a Disney uh, vein, mm -hmm. you know, right. which I think is exactly what you guys were shooting for. What are some things that uh, are some, what were some challenges on the show? Were there any challenges on shooting the show or was well, it a cakewalk? Well, uh, for me, I have to think old because I don't consider myself as a grandfather. Right, so you're like punching above yeah, your weight. Yeah, I mean, I look as, in the mirror and I know I'm older, but to me, you see, I grew up on 50s television, right. so to me, a grandfather is George Cleveland, who played Gramps in the original last oh, series. Oh, right, right. Or, right. A, grandfather, right. Yeah, or a grandfather is yeah. Walter Brennan, who played uh, Grandpappy Amos in The yep. Real McCoys, and yep. I'm not that, that old yet. Right. So I have to think old to be uh, to consider myself a grandfather. And he gets it to is. beat people up, too. You have some physical Yeah, even though I'm a grandfather, I'm still pretty yeah. good with my dukes every once yeah. in a while. That's right, that's know? right. I remember in, uh, I believe it was episode two, you uh, you got to slug. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, Alfred Guy, I believe you did. Yeah. I believe uh, you slugged I, him in the gut. Right, so, uh, yeah. you know, I still get to be a little physical here and there. Good. And I get to work on my gadgets. I'm an inventor, and I'm always coming up with contraptions. 
That's right. That's a lot of fun. That's Blowing right. things up. Blowing yeah. things up. Sometimes Thanks a lot, myself And a, a ham radio aficionado. Right, right, right. 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 <laughs> Comic book collector as mm -hmm. well. So that's a, that's a great character. Now, tell us about, uh, about uh, Luana Lee's mom. Now, she is a single mom, correct? Yes, she is a single right. mom. She runs an antique shop. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Grandpa and Luana don't yeah. tell Mom what's going on. Oh, they, they like run off the and they either. solve all the adventures, and Mom's a little clueless about it all. Oh, <laughs> really? So they're in cahoots with one another, really? Yes, they are. Yeah. I'm just trying to keep the family together, but it's been an interesting character arc. It's only been three episodes so mm -hmm. far, but Mom has really grown. Uh, maybe in the first one I didn't have many lines and it was just a basic mom mm -hmm. uh, who just does mom things. But in the second episode, I got to have a romance. So we find so out that mom has a past and I, my love interest in that was Count uh, Gord And there was this whole backstory that was explored about how you'd gotten into acting and it really, mm -hmm. in many ways, kind of drew from your real life experience. That's right. right. Showing clips from some of your previous movies and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and establishing uh, this past romance with an older vampire. Yes. Yeah, very, very good. Very so good. Mom will be growing as a character. In episode three, we had a little family drama, oh some my. conflict oh between my sister and, and Pops here. So That's right, yeah, so played by Jennifer Rowe. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I watch a lot of independent films, and sometimes it's hard to forget that you're watching an independent film, right? You're watching it and you're going, right. why did they do that? Why did they do that? That actor's terrible. And when you find yourself kind of forgetting that you're actually watching an independent film mm -hmm. and it becomes a TV viewing experience like you would when you flick on real TV, <laughs> right? You go, oh, geez, you know what? That's TV. And, and I felt that through uh, watching the first couple of episodes. I got lost in the shows and I was watching characters talking to other characters and involved in the story and you know that I think is a triumph for uh, for independently made television is if you can uh, uh, create that experience in the audience I, I think you guys have a, a good opportunity to create some some great uh, uh, television episodes in the future and I look forward to I look forward to watching them where can people go online to find out what you're doing what projects you're working on uh, any comments blogs any any you know, writings that you might have uh, posted online to share with, with other people? Well, I recommend going to my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I'm in there and easy to find. George Stover is the name. And uh, um, you can find out uh, what I'm up to or go to the International Movie Database because that uh, has a list of my credits and, keeps, and they keep up to date pretty well. Great. Do you have anything coming up that's not uh, The Adventures of Luana? Lee? Well, last, last year I was in uh, Witch's Brew mm -hmm. from uh, Chris LaMartina. Mm -hmm. And the Devil's Playthings from uh, Eric Christopher Myers, mm -hmm. Jebediah from uh, Joe Ripple, wow. and wow. Uh, Garden of Eden with uh, Kevin Kangas mm -hmm. uh, directing. And uh, so keep an eye on, uh, My on God, those. You're, uh, you're in everything. Well, it takes a while. Uh, uh, to, uh, after all the years Kevin Kangas has been making movies, I was in his first one last year. So it takes a while to catch up with everybody. And what do you have coming up? Well, what I have working right now that I'm really proud of is called Spooky Movie Television, uh -huh. and it's on the air in Virginia right now, and we probably will eventually make a web channel and have webisodes. What it is, I and co-host John Dimes, better known as Dr. Sarcophagi, and I play a character named Boo de Pest. <laughs> we do comedy skits that introduce horror movies, and these are not older public domain horror movies. These are freshly made independent movies, both shorts and feature length, and they're, they're absolutely wonderful. Wow. So everybody look out for spooky movie television. That's fantastic. That sounds yeah. like a great project. Well, I look forward to, to, to looking that up when it's online as well. Now, where can, uh, where can somebody go if they are a Leanna Chambers fan and want to find out more about your career and your links and things that you've done and merchandise that could possibly be purchased, posters, those kinds of things? <laughs> well, I'm also on Facebook like mm -hmm. George. And also, I'm on the IMDb if people mm -hmm. want to see what my latest listings are. But I also have a website, lianachamish.com. And you're right, you can buy some photos there. That's great. That's Autographed great. pictures. And I just wanted to let you know that uh, you're welcome, please, to come back any time in the future when you have something that you'd like to share with us and talk about and share with our audience. Thank you. Thank you. Now, next up, move over, Starsky and Hutch. We're going to be talking in the studio with the stars of the action-adventure series The Fixer, Brian St. August and Alfred Guy.